welcome back. We're back today for another day of work on this piece of junk. We're gonna try to get one step closer to removing the engine. And our next step is going to be to get under here and remove these axle shafts. Let's get pulling those out. moved There's nothing a little karate can't fix. So, our axle nut is off. Next step is going to be to somehow make this spindle move out of the way so I can get to the axle. So, let's remove these bolts. Then we'll pry this down. We'll pull the axle out, hopefully. And then we'll yank it out the transmission. So before we start working away on that thing and sliding our legs under there. Safety. So now, let's get removing the rest of that shit. There she goes. So we're gonna want to yank this down like this, like that, like so. Yep. And then we're gonna put our big nut back on here. And since this is a crown, the best way to do it is to flip it backwards, so you don't end up bending the crown ears inside. So you drive it in there flush, and you just give her a little whack, or maybe two. Or maybe three, maybe four, 15, 16. What's well, moving? All righty. Do you guys see that? It's out. Nice to meet you. Okay, so now we just have to figure out a way to go in here, put some pry bars around that, and then pop that thing out. Well, technically we got the shaft out. That'll be fine, I think. Because the rest of the cup of the axle can stay there. It can come out with the engine. It's not in the way. And then we just need to put the cup on this side again. Which I'm going to explain why right now. So why do we need the cup? By the cup, I mean this piece of the axle shaft right here. The flange on this setup is just pressed into the bearing. Into the center race of the bearing. And this hub flange is splined. So the axle shaft, which is also splined, will slip into the hub. So we need this to be preloaded 
so that this flange here does not try to wiggle out or break the bearing and just completely fall out. So what we're going to do is delete the axle shaft that's right here and then we're going to torque all that down without the shaft part and then it's going to be just as if the axle was there and this will allow us to run a rear wheel drive setup on a front wheel drive suspension. So now let's get deleting on some parts of that axle. All right, so we're gonna start off by hopefully removing these clips. Pigeons are going crazy over here. All right, so that's our two clips removed. We can now pull back on the boot. Pull back on the rubber and see if she gets better. Oh no, she doesn't. So what we need to do now is back this boot up like so. And then wipe our hands every two seconds. So now we have to go dig in there so now to remove the stub shaft. So usually some of them will have like a clip here and then it just like pops out real easy and it's a good thing. But this one doesn't have a clip up top so I'm pretty sure it's just uh, um, held in by a spring clip. So I guess we'll see if a little bit of violence might get it out. Yep, just like that. Now we have our shaft, and we have our stub shaft, or the cup, like we said before. And now what we're gonna do is take this and flip the bearing cage, and then we're gonna take all the balls out, and we're gonna slip all that junk right out of there. So, yeah, let's remove some balls. There you go. Now we have all this junk out. Might as well polish our balls a little bit. Not enough room for the big one.
enough. Put a wheel back on. Drop her down. Now we're going to take our high precision torque wrench. Click yet. Click. It's torqued. To spec. Don't forget to put your pin back in. I need a hammer. So now I did this side, you guys seen this side. I still have the other side to do, but but I'm not gonna show that to you guys because it's the same thing as this one. So wish me luck, I'm gonna go do that. Hopefully after that we're pulling out a motor or an engine. I told you guys, you guys weren't gonna see this, but something happened. You kinda gotta see this. So as I was trying to hammer on this nut, trying to push the axle out, um, I got a little surprise here from our friend, the strut, which decided to also come out, leaving its mount up there. delete I don't know now we're gonna have to figure that out but for now I'll just keep removing on that shaft and then we'll just put that strut back there as if it was there as if it was working and uh, we'll figure it out as we go all right so everything went to shit we got broken bolts we got a jammed nut, we got a jammed axle, we got a messed up strut. So I'm just gonna throw that back together and pretend none of this ever happened. And we'll pick it up on another day. Hopefully a better day. 